Hey, what's up everybody? Our Boots Games here and welcome back to my Minecraft survival. Last episode we did uh, a sorting system for our mine shaft. Um hold on, let me let me cut down the leaves from this tree. This episode we will be working on the park for our uh, our village thing. Did I just get a sapling from that leaf? Huh, I don't know. Maybe. Oh, whoops, my bad. Didn't mean to do that. So, since uh, these jungle trees, since the slap, slap, slapling, since the sapling dropped, at least it used to be lower. I wonder if it actually raised it. But the sapling drop used to, or is or used to be, I don't know, pretty low. I am not going to cut down the leaves until I actually get a sapling back from the tree. But I ended up getting like six from that one, so I don't know. So I actually forgot to show you this, but right here, I found where uh, those monsters were making noises. It was in this ravine. I lit it up. Um, I guess I don't see any monsters in here. It might be it might be perfectly fine. I don't know if I actually want to uh, make another mob trap. Because, oh yeah, that's right. I found that slime that I was hearing. I actually don't know where that was. But, unfortunately, right underneath, or like, wherever this chunk is, it's a slime chunk, so... I've had slimes spawn in here. Um, I don't think I actually changed anything here. I extended this one more. That was about it, though. Um, anything else that needs to be smelted? Some iron. That's about it. <laughs> I didn't actually go mining since last time, so... I fixed the... Uh, actually... I didn't raise this because I found out that it wasn't going to work because in these parts right here the track actually goes up and it would end up hitting one of these blocks. Am I playing? I am on hard. Yep, I got a miner here. Just a zombie with stone pickaxe and leather armor. Maybe I shouldn't have done that because he might be making a lot of unnecessary noise but I can always kill him, and maybe it could put villagers down there. I do only have two villagers, so, and again, I am making a village, so maybe that'll get me more, but I don't know. Unfortunately, uh, ooh, it already grew back. I don't, that's too tall. Unfortunately, I hate the way jungle, uh, jungle wood looks at least a plank version so i'm probably going to end up using the wood for crafting like pistons and stuff music is a little too loud um let's see i'm going to oh i have a lot more so i am going to have the the park right here i was planning on having it a little bigger actually quite a bit bigger but this this is just too much of a hill here and that wouldn't have worked out they just look weird and actually to be honest i might not work on the actual park part it might just be the stairway or the the pathway around it so my bad false advertising i guess dang it placing blocks on these hold on well that place it on the bottom and then the top okay that might be helpful occasionally but for the most part it'd just be annoying let's see right here I'm going to have stone brick walls and I'm gonna go check to see if I actually have any stone here because I don't really want to go back into my mine this is all wood stuff um you know I don't even think I have any cobblestone here no, I do not. Back into the mine. I really should get, like, a whole 
at the top of the mountain that goes all the way down and I could just like throw an ender pearl down there or I could have uh, the water pathway or not pathway uh, drop me down a bunch of blocks into a one block deep of water there should be stone already made in here. Yes, there is. But I'm going to need a lot more than that. Cobblestone, cobblestone. Stone. Oh. Let's fill this up. Uh, cobblestone. Oh, right. Fill this up. I was filling up the wrong hopper. My bad. Is this going to work? It should. Oh, right. Um, if stuff is in here, this hopper won't take stuff out of there because it's being powered by that redstone right there. But once it's done, then it should be fine. No big deal. Uh, how much stone did I get? Almost two stacks. There we go. It's not nighttime. Oh, I forgot. Uh, I installed another mod. And, hold on. Let me just show you a glitch. I'm getting really sidetracked here, but uh, I also kind of want to do this. Do I have any TNT? Yes, I do. I only need two. So, a lot of you probably know the... It's not really a glitch, but you use pistons and then TNT to push it in, push it over you, and then you can, like, have x-ray vision. Well, hold on. If I, let me go back here. No. I guess I have to, it has to be something vertical. I gotta watch where I place it, because I can't place it up there. Because that, I think, would set off the TNT. I've got too much redstone around here to be trying this, but... I gotta find someone... Some... There we go. You gotta find a place that you can, like, just reach and then place it. And then it should put it in... Well, it should, like, make it disappear. And now... Um... Cobblestone... Fill that up, and there we go. <laughs> Instant x-ray vision. So, this is helpful. However, it is extremely annoying if you're trying to build. Because I'll probably run into this problem a lot when I'm trying to build uh, the wall that I'm going to be building this episode. So, that's gonna make me pretty mad but it is it is pretty cool I don't know if that is actually a glitch in this version maybe one of the mods I installed screwed that up and it's nighttime so I'm gonna sleep down here Wow aren't you glad we're being so productive so I talked about was it actually last episode I don't know I guess it doesn't really matter but I talked about how I got uh, the Grand Theft Auto bundle off of Steam, and let's see, did I have, I don't think I had any complaints about it, but I do, so I need something to talk about this episode, so I'm going to talk about the problems I've had with it. First of all, uh, GTA 1 and 2 don't work, they like freeze after a while, but... I might have to put it in combat compatibility mode. Oh, I... Hmm. Nothing is dark enough. Could go over there. Did I already mention that I have Optifine? I think I did. Yeah, I have Optifine. Huh. Aw. Zombie died. So, let's go up there oh hey you might notice if I switch to my uh, 
my torch, then it lights up the area. It's neat, and unfortunately, it doesn't work if zombies are holding it. I was going to have uh, the zombie in my mine holding a torch. That way, I could, uh, like, light up the mines in a different way. However, it is a mod, so I'm not going to only want to light it with that because after I update, and I know I will, then I don't want to, I don't want to have to wait to update for a mod that just, like, does this with torches. It actually does it with, uh, freaking, where's the ladder? Hello? It actually does it with redstone, too, and, like, glow stone. Basically, anything that would... Ah, oh, you killed a squid. You're horrible. It does it with anything that generates light. So, lava bucket. Um, I'm not going to list it all, but... Let's see if I can get it in there. Nope. I missed. Oh, well. On to the building portion of what... I planned on doing this episode. Remember this? Remember this ravine? It was like probably within 10 episodes. I don't even know. Yeah, I died back when I was just starting YouTube and I was awful. Just a little. Not gonna lie. So I don't know why I got rid of that from my hotbar. But the reason I'm using stone bricks and not just regular stone is because I plan on doing some kind of fancy pattern, which I will show later. About, oh, right, back to the, uh, the GTA bundle pack. Vice City, it is working now, but when I first, let's see, hold on, yup. There's the glitch. But when I first started playing it, my mouse would like occasionally get disabled and I wouldn't be able to look. So that's obviously not a good thing in a game that's heavily based on your mouse movements. I mean, that's how you aim. How else are you supposed to play? But the weirdest thing about it is uh, I Google searched it, how, like how to fix the problem, and it makes no sense of how this actually fixes it, but you go to uh, like the executable file in your programs folder, you right click on it, go into properties, and then uh, you change, what was it actually called? It didn't even have anything to do with the game. I think it had something to do with, uh, like, your desktop display as when you're playing the game. And you just have to disable that. And apparently, apparently that has something to do with how your mouse works in a game. Makes no sense, but it works, so I'm not really going to complain. I played Vice City for three hours yesterday. I checked uh, because I have three hours played total on the game. That's probably not a good thing, but it's a fun game. Part of the reason, or part of the problem I had with it was uh, I almost didn't want to play it because I used to, I, I guess technically I never owned it. I was borrowing it from a friend, but I used to have it for the PS2 and I got pretty far, but... I never actually beat the game, and I didn't really want to start over because I've done everything before, but, like, where is, never mind, but like I said, that was a long time ago, and I remember a few of the missions, like the one where you have to blow up that, I'm sorry if you haven't played it then, I'm spoiling it for you, but whatever, the one where you have to uh, blow up the construction site with uh, the remote control helicopter. You like you have to like place the TNT inside it. I remember that one. Um, ooh, I need those cobblestone slabs. I am going to have, have to have multiple furnaces running. Oh, what are you doing? Hey, hey, hey. 
how did you spawn here? Oh. Eh. Light it up. I think that's where he spawned. I don't know. I kind of assumed that they wouldn't even be able to spawn. Well, I guess that is a full block, but whatever. Working? Okay. Working hard or hardly working? Not gonna lie, I kind of hate it when people say that, because it's just like... I, to me, that's just a really stupid thing to say. Sorry. Sorry if you say it, but... That is... I have problems. That's it. Ooh. You're a nice short tree. I can cut you down. Uh, do I have more cobblestone up? No. I really should... I'm sorry, but I really should have, uh had all this stuff smelted before. I don't really want to waste my coal. Ooh, level 30. I repaired my efficiency efficiency two on breaking three pickaxe. So that's nice. There we go. I'm very OCD about it. I have to place in the exact same place. Even if I'm not in my tree farm, I still feel like I have to do that. Ooh, another one. Grow. I might... I know I do have stone and stone bricks back at the house. So I'm definitely going to have to go back there, but... I also, in this design, I do have lighting planned out, so I don't have to worry about that. However, I don't have lighting planned out for here, as you can see, because some of the plants are dying. Good. I don't want tall grass. Even if it's not visible in any way, I still don't want it. Crap. I'm doing a lot of running around this episode because I'm going to have to go back into the cave. Or because I need uh, redstone lamps. I might have some in my house. I don't know. I don't know. I like how, how when I'm over there, I can just see like two blocks from my mob farm. I guess that's where the edge of the chunk was. And since it's almost nighttime, I might as well go down here and sleep. I really did not have this planned out. Is there another cave around here? Uh. Oh gosh, I really made 60 redstone lamps. I honestly do not remember doing that. It is nighttime. Okay, maybe it's not. Three diamonds. You do not belong there. Do I have any other ore? Redstone ore. I can't carry you. There we go. I don't know if many people know this, but if you're in your inventory, if you press Q or control Q, then you can throw the stuff on the ground. I've never seen anyone use that, so... I'm going to assume I'm the only one in the entire world that actually knows about that. Obviously, that's a joke, but you know what I mean. When is freaking, uh, it, okay. You're telling me that's not nighttime? Thank you. I want to know when, uh, Enchant View is going to get updated. I'm sick of... I don't really enchant much, actually. Not recently, because I've got decent tools, and I can just repair them with the anvil. One thing I've wondered is, uh, since the anvil, like, takes damage, I'm not exactly sure how it takes damage. I don't know if it's, like, within a certain uses, or if it's just, like, a percentage every time you use it that it might break but I want to know if you could basically keep an anvil forever if like every time you use it you broke it and then placed it back down I feel like that would work 
based on if it's like if it uh, gets damaged every certain amount of uses then it would probably work but if it's just a percentage of like every time you use it it might break then it probably wouldn't work holy crap a lot what can I get rid of um, I'm just gonna throw this through the portal and I can deal with it later get more end stone stone bricks and hmm let's get rid of some more dirt some more dirt there there now I need stone brick stairs and stone brick slabs I think no I don't need them Okay, out of stone bricks. This should be more than enough. I, I shouldn't have to run around anymore. Oh, every time I see that light on, I just want to go over there and punch whatever is in there. Um, okay, never mind. I was going to see if I had any, like, gunpowder or something. What is up with all the animals over there? I still haven't found that one skeleton I gave all my iron armor to. He stole it from me. I, I was expecting him to just hang out around up here. Maybe go in there, but he's probably lost in the caves. Watch, watch it like an extremely long time from now. I'm going to be mining and then I see, uh, I see a zombie with full iron armor. I'm like, oh... I could kill him and get that from him, and then I end up killing him. He drops the full set of iron armor, and I get all excited, and then I realize that's my iron armor. I deserve this. This isn't yours. Fix that. Actually, those are supposed to be replaced with leaves. But, basically... Let's start it from here. I want that back. How did I do this? I think... I think I had a full row of uh, upside down... Upside down stone stairs up here. Don't. And then... What I did was... Uh, Gosh. I might have to go and check my creative world. No! No! Why do I feel like I'm jumping a little a little higher than normal? I know I'm not, but it it just feels like it. I want the stone bricks back. I spent all that time getting it. I'm not going to lose it. Oh, I missed. Parkour. Screw that. Um, I might as well just place down dirt to get up here. Wow, way to sprint. You know what I realized? I haven't even attempted to, uh, to, like, kill the wither in this. Like, I haven't even... I don't have one skeleton or one wither skeleton head and I even have a looting three sword. I don't know why I'm not trying to do that, but I like the beacons, but I don't know, it just seems like too much work for not much of a gain. I don't have a crafting table in there. The most useful one, well, I don't know about necessarily the most useful, but the one I would like the most is uh, the jump boost. Stop. I do have that in my single player world. And that, I've never showed you my single player world. Maybe I'll do that like episode 100, and this episode's going a little long. So I might have to cut away to uh, 
the final product of this. Sorry, but it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen right now. So I finished it, and there are a lot of mobs around here. Hold on, hold on. Sound extremely, oh, they're just down there. They're, they're not harming anyone yet. You, oh my gosh, I was just over here. You did not have spawned, thank you. Hopefully I lit it up enough under here. I did actually find a skeleton down there earlier, but should be lit up. Should be lit up by now, because I placed a lot more torches. And also, with this mod, uh, you might be wondering, or not really wondering, but like, it'd be a little difficult to light up an area because you'd have to like keep switching to and from your torch to place it and check the lighting. But actually, if you press L, then it will disable it, or it will toggle it, so, yeah. And I really should make a lot more torches and light up the area around here. But I'm gonna go to sleep, and, uh, I know I didn't exactly do what I planned on doing, and that was making the park, but, uh, I should work on that next episode, but if you... If you like this uh, and you haven't subscribed already, please do, and I will see you later. Oops. Bye.